What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net, and we are inside of Windows 10 Technical Preview Build 10041, and this was just installed yesterday, and we have run into a problem, and this is with, I lost access to my network. I can browse the internet, but I cannot do anything with the network, and that would be Sandy. So yeah, excuse the barking in the background. So anyway, uh, what the problem is that when we right click on our ethernet, we go down to properties, we get this network connection and unexpected error occurred. This only happened whenever we did the upgrade or I'm sorry, Microsoft did the upgrade. I didn't, it did it on its own. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna try something and see if it actually works. And we'll come over here, we're gonna do CMD. Seriously? Come on, you can make it. Alright. I can't believe that the daggone thing actually worked for the first time. Okay, so anyway, what we're going to do is that we're going to try to make it to where we can actually access the properties of our Ethernet card. So we're going to do reg server 32. And then we're going to type in net shell dot dll. Hit enter. And then this right here will register uh, the uh, the network shell again. So now let's right click, go to properties, and we're still getting it. So let's try another one. Let's do um, reg server 32, do ole32.dll. Now let's hit enter, and this right here is going to register that one. So then let's try to right click, go to properties, and we're still getting the same error. And so uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to actually reboot the system and see if what we did resolved the issue. So once we reboot, I will go back in and start the recording over and go from there. Okay, we have just rebooted the system. So let's come over here and let's right click, go to Open Network and Sharing Center. Let's go to Change Adapter Settings. And let's see if what we did fixed our problem. Right click and properties. And no, it did not. So, see, I've come over here to um, our device manager. And I've got two cards here. This one right here is the built in card, which does not work. And this right here is my USB Ethernet card. So, what I want to do here is I'm actually going to uninstall this one because I think, I believe. This might fix the problem. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. We're going to uninstall it. And yes, we want to uninstall it. So now we just have this one card. So we should be able to access everything with it now, hopefully. So let's come back over here, go into change adapter properties. Now we just have this one card here. Now, still don't have nothing. So, um, uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to uninstall this card. So let's go ahead and right click on it, uninstall it, and um, click OK. Alright, so now we no longer have a network card, and we're going to get all sorts of errors. Now let's go ahead and close out of that. Okay, so now I'm going to reboot the computer, and we're going to try this again, and uh, actually uh, reinstall the the network card and see if maybe possibly that will solve this problem. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, we're well back after the second reboot and as you can tell it's uh, Windows automatically reinstalled our Ethernet card. So we're going to right click and we're going to uninstall this one because it is not being used and does not need to be on here. And then the most likely reinstall it again. Nothing I can do about it except it just disable it once more. So, with just this card, let's see if we can actually access the properties. And yes, we are able to access the properties. So, that's what you need to do is that you actually need to uninstall the card in order to gain access to the properties again. So, yep, yeah, that was, uh, that seems to have fixed the problem. So, Okay, Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net inside of Windows 10 networking problem. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.